So for this drop a question example, we have 8x to the 6th plus 20x to the 4th plus 28x cubed. So what we want to look for is how are we going to factor this. And we should always check for a GCF, a greatest common factor. Is there something that each of these terms have in common that we can pull out first? So 8x to the 6th, 20x to the 4th, and 28x cubed. They each have a coefficient and a variable. So let's look at the coefficients first. 8, 20, and 28. They're all even numbers, which means that they're divisible by 2. But is there a better factor? They're actually all factorable also by 4. So just keep in mind that GCF means to use the greatest common factor. So 4 is greater than 2. 4 would be a better factor to use. So if we take out a 4, that would be for our coefficients. But now we also need to look at the variables. Do they have a common variable? They all have x's. But they also all have exponents. So the easiest way to do this is to check what the lowest exponent is, which is our 4, in comparison to the others. Oop, 3, I mean. <laughs> so they all have at least 3x's in common, which means that we're also going to pull out not just the 4, but 3x's. And we write that as x cubed. So now, once we have our greatest common factor, 4x cubed, we write in parentheses what's left over. So if you were to divide each term by 4x cubed, you would write the remaining for that slot where they go. Another way to think about it is 4x cubed multiplied by what will give you back 8x to the 6th. In this case, it would be the 2 here, right? 4 times 2 will give us 8. Then when we're doing the variables, x cubed times x cubed will give us back x to the 6th. And that would be for the first term. And if we move on, now we have 20x to the 4th. So 4 times 5 will give us 20. And then x cubed times 1x will bring us back to x to the 4th. And you could, like I said, you could think about it as a multiplication or a division. You could do 28 divided by 4 is 7. x cubed divided by x cubed is just 1. They, can, they actually cancel out. So 1 over 1 is just 1, so 7 times 1 is just 7. In this case, you can even end this a little earlier. I know, it, I know I wrote it way out here, but that would be the factored with the GCF only. Now, once you have a GCF, that doesn't mean that you're done. You always want to double check if what you have inside the parentheses can still be factorable. This one had a GCF, but we still have a trinomial. Trinomial means that we have three terms, tri. So now you want to think, OK, is there anything else that I can factor? Do they still have, is there a GCF inside? Sometimes if you think you have the GCF, you need to check again. Um, but if you did it correctly the first time, you should not have a GCF that remains. In this case, we have x cubed, x, and no x's, so it's not a, it's not a quadratic. Remember, quadratics are in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are numbers, but and your highest um, exponent is squared. In this case, we have a cubed. So we're done. We actually have the GCF here correctly. And inside the parentheses, there's nothing more we can do to further break it down.